On track to go from small state Arkansas to big league baseball, Pine Bluff native Tink Hentz is rising up pro ranks as the St. Louis Cardinals' top pitcher prospect. He'd show why under the national spotlight by throwing a shutout inning in last Saturday's MLB All-Star Futures game. Take hence, huh? Then, How about uh, him? Yeah, the nah, he's, he's, he's an electric arm. Among the nation's most tantalizing minor league talents, the 20-year-old young gun is working his way into the majors. Just going out and competing. I feel like if I go out and compete and have fun, whether I do bad or get the results that I want, I just feel like I'm going to continue to grow and one day I'll be in St. Louis. Taken in the second round of the 2020 MLB draft straight out of Watson Chapel High, this month, the former Razorback signee was called up from the single-A Peoria Chiefs to the double-A Springfield Cardinals. Moving back south after a three-year stint in Illinois and returning to Central Arkansas for games at Dickey Stevens Park, Tink hasn't forgotten where home is. It's really special, really for me, my family, and then also like, you know, the city. They've been pushing for me ever since I was about 9, 10, 11, so just growing up and around them and continue pushing for me to keep going and just wishing nothing but blessing for me. So, I mean, I just got nothing to do but go hard for the city. Following a strong debut as Springfield starter on the 4th of July, pitching five innings and striking out five batters before allowing his first and only run, hence proudly represented Arkansas at the All-Star Futures game in Seattle. With other minor league standouts at bat, is the up-and-comer's chance to prove why his special arm has made him thought of as a future star. I feel like this is a good event to showcase my skills against some of the other best that's out there. So adrenaline's going to be pretty high. It's going to be a great stadium, a great atmosphere. Just like I said, slowing it down and just enjoying the moment. I'm sure I'm going to have a lot of fun. With pitchers interchanging on the mound to each throw a full inning, Tink got his shot for the National League team in the second. He'd start his outing with a blistering 98.9 mile per hour fastball, marking one of the hottest lasers of the night. Hence would use a curveball to strike out one batter, holding the American League team scoreless through three outs despite allowing a ground ball single and a walk. His reputation may precede himself at times, being the second overall top prospect for a storied franchise like the Cardinals. But Tink doesn't let the hype get to his head or get in his way of showing the world what he's made of. I try not to really think about it. I just go out and have fun. Each game I go out, I just look at it as a, a new game. Just me kind of just showing what I got again. Named by St. Louis as one of the organization's minor league players of the month for June, Tink has tirelessly honed his craft in his three years as a pro and overcame adversity after an injury riddled first season. First year, I really learned a lot of kind of learning how to go about my day and kind of just figuring out the things that help me stay on the field and continue to get better and improve on all the things that I need to. So just spending time around all the guys and all the coaches down there just and, and really just listening, just being like a sponge, soaking up all the information and kind of just continue to elevate myself in life. Time will tell how and when Hence gets the call up that he's always dreamt of. Through whatever ups and downs, on the bump and off, What's certain is that he'll rep his home state doing what he loves, and along the way, he'll spread the love of baseball to his young fans. Growing up, I used to be the kid at the game, just walking around and just excited to get a baseball from a player or maybe get some sign, just enjoying the moment. I know that I was a kid like that one day, so kind of just being able to be on the opposite side, be the best I can, and set a great example for the younger kids that's coming up.